Also, please keep in mind that myself and all my shipmates that you see here in uniform are active duty sailors. We're sailors first, and we pretend to be tour guides part-time also, so just bear with us, okay? All right, so how old is the ship? 212. Awesome. Anybody have an idea why we need a Navy? No, you want me to tell you, right? All right. Uh, so the late 1700s, um, the Revolutionary War had already been fought and won. Uh, we did gain our independence from Great Britain. However, we lost the uh, protection from the Royal Navy. And at the time, we had the second largest merchant fleet in the world. So that meant we were doing lots of trading without any protection. Doesn't sound like a good mix, right? Uh, we had a treaty going on with these guys uh, in the Mediterranean. Uh, anybody heard of Morocco? Algiers? Tunis? Tripoli? Those guys? Well, they had some, uh, some bad characters. They were called Corsairs. Has anybody heard of a Corsair before? Yes. Yes? What does Corsair mean? Do you know? Not specifically, no. No? Anybody know what Corsair means? I thought you shake your head. Uh, you know what I mean? Not. Basically, it's a pirate. The difference between a pirate and a corsair is a pirate acts of their own accord and they're taking your goods um, just because that's how they are. Uh, corsairs actually act on behalf of their government. So their government authorized them to come and take our merchant fleet, basically take our vessels, our sailors, and our cargo. And at the time we were paying them a tribute of about a million dollars a year, which uh, totaled a fifth of our national income. And that doesn't sound like a very, very fair deal, right? We're paying them, and they're not up, uh, upholding their side of the bargain. So, our first president, who was? George, George Washington. George Washington. Washington. There you go. You'd be surprised. Some people don't know. Um, <laughs> they go to con he went to Congress, basically, and proposed the Naval Armament Act, telling them, we need protection for our merchant fleet out there. We need a Navy. And finally, the uh, Congress in 1794 signed the Naval Armament Act, authorizing the construction of six frigates. And USS Constitution is the third of those six frigates. She's the only one still afloat today. All right, what was her birthday? Did I tell you guys yet? No? no. All right, on the 21st of October in the year 1797, she was constructed and put out to sea right across the harbor. If you guys can peek over there, I don't know if everybody can see it, but there's a white Coast Guard ship over there. That used to be Edmund Hart Shipyard. Today it is a Coast Guard station. Uh, but that is where she was built and put out to sea, so she is really at home.